It was a spring morning, an early spring morning, over high yonder hills I wended my way. With the young heather growing, and a pleasant breeze blowing, I made me way down to the green banks of green. I made me way down, I made me way down, I made me way down to the green bank. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention please? You're listening to Radio Africa. I, it's our pleasure t- uh, today to receive in our studio Robin Dahl. We met him one time. It was at uh, Mima. He was performing there and uh, it was in the evening. It was a beautiful place. Exposition going on. There's a lot of things happening at that time. And we were part of that evening. The gentleman was so beautiful there sitting and the voice, the experience the beauty of listening to the live voice. What I mean by that, the experience behind. As our culture always, we'll let our guest or our VIP, you know, I like giving my guest the VIP ticket because when they are in our studio, it's a beautiful place to be. It's a place to share cultures. So I would like the gentleman to introduce himself so that you guys who's listening out there to Radio Africa, I, you make sure that the gentleman was there. I didn't make up the voice. Please introduce yourself. My name is Robin Dale. I live in Teesside and I'm a big fan of folk music and photography. In particular, the work of Graham Miles, who set out to record the Teesside area in song and verse. And he was such an influence on me that um, I became intrigued with his music and songs and started to sing his songs from 1968. Truly, uh, Robin, as our listeners, they can hear themselves. The gentleman is in the house. So much to hear. There is the book of experience. Like sometime in Africa, we always say, when a big one is gone, the whole library is burned down. But unfortunately, uh, here is not the case. What I'm trying to say, when is there, the, the archives are open for the younger one to get and listen to the experience. Robin, sometimes we have to choose how to put it right because that's our job at the radio. So it can sing very well to our audience. You are an experience of life first. We have to admit it and then come to art. You have taken this road so long. That's part of our narration. It's what we'll be talking about. Uh, When did you start doing this? How old was you when you started this journey? This lovely journey. (laughs) (laughs) It was a long, long time ago, yes. Um, Right. So we're talking about 10 years, 20 years, 30 Nin- years. 1968. 1968, I was born. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yes. So that's, yeah. yeah. So, so, yes, we're talking. It, it is a long, long Many time. Many moons, yes. Be- because uh, I'm, I'm old. I can feel it. Old means that I'm really getting age. If uh, I was born in 1968 and you started at that time. So we're talking big business. Yes. And we have taken on up on Graham Miles Road so that we can really look after the archives that he left and then promote the Teesside area, which is our area. It's a beautiful place to live. Many of our generations from outside, from inside, we don't know very well the story of Teesside. And this project that you have taken since 1968 is one of the beautiful projects to expose the history of Teesside. So how important was for you to take it so that you can expose it to the new generation. I was happy to join Graham in this project to literally put Teesside on the map that's, song-wise. That's excellent. And even even though I say myself, I think we've been quite successful totally, in yes. that. Um, and Graham songs are well known worldwide. quite world, worldwide, worldwide yes. outside the Teesside area. Exactly, yes. But we've kept... We've we've kept the faith in Teesside, and totally, yes. um, it was a it was a marvelous experience to, to Ex- join in. Exactly, as uh, all pioneers, uh, yes. the better of leaving the trace is very very important, yes. so that the new generation when they come, they cannot stumble on the empty space. They can only stumble on top of archives, beauty, and then uh, they can take it from there. People like us, we're going to learn a lot from your generation because you were a very hard-working, you are a hard-working generation. 
uh, some of us now we even becoming a little bit lazy we can't even take on your shoulder because uh, it's so much so much out there so now we've got two CDs that uh, you have selected the music of Graham Miles songs that you have come up with sound beautiful because if I could hear you that day that night when you were giving the voice I thought it was uh, something like 18 years old singing you still have the voice how come yes people have remarked on that because I'm no youngster, but I have a, a young voice, which yes. is <laughs> which is <laughs> which an is, advantage. Which is I a imagine. blessing. Yes. 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 That's right. True. So now, uh, let us go so that we can a little bit cool down with our listeners. So we're gonna play them track uh, One Yonder Banks. Sound very good. We played it a little bit, but we would like to play it fully now so that we can uh, all grasp it nicely. It was a spring morning. An early spring morning Over high yonder hills I wended my way With the young heather growing And a pleasant breeze blowing I made me way down To the green banks of green I made me way down I made me way down I made me way down to the green banks of green with the young heather growing and a pleasant breeze blowing I made me way down to the green banks of green The moss was all springy all spongy and springy the intakes ran silver after overnight rain And the grey sheep were grazing, the adder was lazing All down the green banks, the green banks of grain All down the green banks, all down the green banks All down the green banks the green banks of grain. The grey sheep were grazing, the adder was lazing, all down the green banks, the green banks of grain. The winter's long past now, how green grows the grass now, the broom and the bracken, likewise the same. Summer birds are arriving, hark the curlew is crying, and the red grouse are whirring down the green banks of green. The red grouse are whirring, the red grouse are whirring, the red grouse are whirring down the green banks of green. Summer birds are arriving, hark the curlew is crying, and the red grouse are whirring down the green banks of grain. Wow, that was marvellous, the voice. Can't return myself. This is uh, 18 years old. <laughs> you are a blessed man. You are a gift. <laughs> Of a voice. Thanks, Robert. Spreading it still for the Teesside area. Right. Uh, you have come up with uh, two CDs. To yes. How many you have made? We're talking about CDs. How many CDs you Just have made? Just those two. Just those two. Just yes. these two. Yes. So it's, it's, it's a, for me, it's, it's a proper archive to look after for the generation because it's a selected song and then sing by selected from Graham Miles and sing by you so powerful messages of our area the history what used to happen here so much uh to be honest as we we are not much aware of uh these programs of yours will give us the map like you say to put us really focus on the map and the world also attention to t side what used to happen we have to renew ourselves all the time and having you today is about that tell us a bit more I've seen in front of me there is another documentation, which is a book. You wrote the book? No, um, 
The first book I did with Graham is called Songscapes. Right. Which um, I was very pleased to do. We were quite green. That was our first publication. All right. And I remember Graham saying, you're going to end up with a garage full of unsold books. <laughs> <laughs> but it came to pass that uh, they're sold out. Exactly. So <laughs> Which is the good thing. Yes, it is. Yes. Mind, yes. So that means there's, in theory, a thousand people have this collection of Graham's songs. Oh, that's fantastic. And my photographs Beautiful. in their archives. And it, I know I sent a book or two to Australia and uh, and he said they're being recorded in Alaska. So okay. it's quite... Uh, <laughs> it's far away, isn't it's, it? So it's quite <laughs> widespread. Yes. But, yes. Um, but that was a lovely experience and um, we hope to, to continue that work. Exactly. Even though uh, Graham is no longer with us. So... Various people have produced these smaller versions of the book from the mass, from the extensive work of Graham Miles. You exactly. See. So there's quite a there's quite an archive, and it's and it is ongoing as we speak. Beautiful. As here at Radio Africa, IA, you are directly speaking to cross cultures. This is the program where we celebrate culture, we promote culture. So you being there for us is a living legend. So we are fortunate to have you today in the studio, speak to you, and pass this program that we are making now to our listeners out there in Teesside and worldwide that Robin Dahl have taken on a massive journey since 1968 when I was born. It's massive. <laughs> 49 years, 49 years working on a project that will take to the generations and the generations. Thank you very much, Robin Dahl. You have done so much for us, which our generation will never... F so now, tell me, the music is an inspiration, is to inspire. What you always do so that out there, they can get it? Because there's so much venue, so much communities. How you always do it so that you can reach our communities in Tizai? Because it's not about only the archive itself. How you always do it? Uh, let me put it this way. I saw you at Mima. Yes. Did you understand? That's right, yes. Is that something that you do oh, it, regularly so that you can preach to the community yes. about this message? Yes, that is one of the outlets, yes. Um, like you say, Rob, Mima has purposely put themselves available to the wider community Yes. from all races. And um, this was a chance to, um, to use that as a base and people will come and perhaps for the first time exactly yes. uh, listen to uh, Graham Miles' uh, songs or, or see the slideshows of my photographs. All right. That's, that's actually the beautiful question that I came up with. I wanted to know if you've got support behind that may be taking you around for you to go and perform. Like I saw you in Mima. This, like Mima have taken an opportunity and then brought you in, exposed you, and I had an opportunity to come to Mima and I saw you. But many of our youngers generation out there they may not come to Mima oh. are you going and find them <laughs> I know it's, it's <laughs> with your time but I think there must be support there so it, the team there must be a team behind so that you can go around is that in place yes um, what what happens Robert is yes. that there's um, a whole circuit of folk music clubs right which you know are from the from Cornwall to yes the north of Scotland. Exactly. So by word of mouth or listening, yes. a person up in down Cornwall can hear a Graham Miles song. Exactly. And if they're interested, they will inquire what more this songwriter right. produced. Exactly. And so it so it builds up quite a you know quite a following uh, that way. Truly, yes. But yourself, are you touring so that you can, you know, activate all the time the communities? Let's say I want to see you one more to perform. Where am I going to follow you? All oh, right. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Um, Where are you next? At the White Hart Pub Mickleby uh -huh. near Whitby. All right. This is one of the many folk clubs that I mentioned. Right. And they've invited me to do an evening of Graham's songs and give a little background to the person himself. Exactly. So that's the 6th of May yes. this year. So there's one outlet. Right. You know, sort of straight away. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you now, I did a... We did um, a series of slide sound studies True. with Graham. Exactly, yes. Because Graham, years ago, worked with the BBC on the what's known as the radio ballads. No, yes, the this radio ballads, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. This is when 
BBC first used real voices right. of, of train drivers, miners and w things. W which year was that, if you don't mind me? <laughs> mm. uh, uh, yeah. I would guess, guess yeah. mid, early mid, mid 50s. Mid 50s. Mid end of 50s. End, end of the 60s, I think. End of the 60s, okay. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. It's, yeah. Yeah. So when I met Graham, I was just starting to do slideshows. Did you meet him and you became friends? Yes. Or collaborators or met him from school? No, no. How, um, did, how did you, we because you have come up with it, I wanted just to quickly pin up out there. How did you meet? I met uh, through Annie. All right. And Annie met Graham, so we became friends that way. Okay. Are you with it? Yes. Yeah, exactly. You um, were friends, yes. I tried. Yeah. Uh, and um, as I say, I was just starting to do slideshows. Exactly, yeah. And if it was a sort of rural scene, uh -huh. I would dub or I'd rip oh, okay. <laughs> from Vojak's Four Seasons, you know, it, which works. True. Or children, there's a well-known one of children's choir singing uh, Nibs and Shepherds. Nibs, Nibs and Shepherds, come, come away, away. <laughs> come, 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 come. Which works, you know what I mean? Yeah. But here with Graham's knowledge and songs of the Teesside area, yes. then it would... It's a chance to get under the skin of the area. Exactly. And with both your senses used, your ears and your eyes, look at the pictures and the sounds and recording of children playing or interviews with minors. Totally. With both your senses used, mm -hmm. you don't see the join. You are exactly. involved with the with the series. Totally, yes. And we, since I met, since we did it in 1970, we, we were so, <laughs> we did, ended up doing three full-length studies of the Teesside area with Graham's music and sound and sound. All right. And we and we took that all around the country, even to um, friends in West Germany. Right. If you allow me, then let me play. Mm. Yeah. I have to make sure I read because my glasses are start. <laughs> I don't know if I start losing the lens now. I uh, have to get myself a new one. But uh, this is the next one. We lived over yonder banks where the tall cranes touch the sky. By the railway siding wall Where those terraced houses lie And we lived, I think, at 24 Or was it 26? It was such a long, long time ago I can't remember which We lived over yonder bank over there And we played tag on yonder tip When the watchman was away Up and down we used to run High a hundred times a day And when the shipyard siren blew we chase each other home Ah, but that was some time back since, some 30 years or so. We lived over yonder banks, over there. And it was on yon riverside, that's where I started work. How they men, they laughed at me. In me father's cap and shirt But that factory is a ruin now Just a wall or two remain And many of those hefty lads Must now be in their graves We lived over yonder banks over there Well I'm at the station now Waiting for the evening train And I'm wondering if by some small chance I may pass this way again Though I left the town when just a kid Deep inside I know a little will remain with me, no matter where I roam. We lived over yonder bank. Wow, Robin Dahl. That was fantastic. What a beautiful track, Messages. Actually, it's about the message behind it. Uh, Teesside, 
it's a blessed place to have pioneers like you guys and keep boosting this place keeping it on the map because many places can't find its way but this side is blessed for me even i can feel fortunate to have you in the studio uh living legend tell us next project next move <laughs> <laughs> well um we hope to continue this this good work of Graham, and we hope to produce a a second book, you know, another songscapes. True. With with Graham songs, um, that, that's that's in the pipeline. Um, but the likes of um, the 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 Wilson family and Martin Wyndham Reed from down south, they're continuing like me. They're spreading the word of Graham's songs on the Teesside area. True. For instance, Martin Wyndham goes worldwide tours. Australia, etc. Exactly. Yeah. So it, it is it is an ongoing system. True. I agree with you. Yes. So now this is where I'll come up with another under question. I like asking questions, isn't it? <laughs> and Robin, you have to answer. We are in Teesside. We've got a, one of the biggest university in the country, Teesside University. This is a, one of the biggest institutions in our region, in our area. Did you got anything connected, collaboration, so that you can lecture in a form maybe of workshops to the younger people, the younger generation that are tapping into the university so that they can know about Teesside? Because we've got a lot of visitors at the university there. When they come to us, they have to know who we are. Is it something that uh, you have thought about or something in place or you have spoken to the Teesside University yes, to give you a platform? That's right. We've, yes. As I said, um, certainly MIMA yes. is closely involved with Teesside University. University. Okay. So they're the first person we'll turn to uh -huh. when we consider producing a book of Graham songs. Totally. And uh, we've already shown the three slideshow studies in MIMA itself. Totally. So the, so the word is is getting it about and it's so close to the Teesside University mm -hmm. that surely there'll be some follow-up from from them exactly excellent yeah truly you're right since uh, you are with Mima there is a that open channel to Teesside University because as I mentioned that is very very important uh, this work must go on must stay alive because it's us it's Teesside it's us and then for the generation to the generation so that we can tap up through these archives uh, that you are regenerating uh, 49 years or 49 years of the project is massive uh, I really I'm really impressed you know because uh, we younger generation we intend to do other things jump all over forgetting what we've got under our shoes what are you gonna say about that yes Robert you you're right um, but the, there's a, a group aptly called the the younguns yes the younguns or, or, uh, like yourself, young. Exactly. But they've they've taken up the the banner of Graham's work. That's good. And as a result, uh -huh. um, they're getting wide wide sort of coverage. And this has led to a future program on Graham Miles uh -huh. because the younguns quote Graham as a muse. Right. So there is there is um, a future there from from the younguns like that right to uh, take up take up the banner so there is um, there is a future there. oh that's good nice to hear that because question need answer and then i'm satisfied with that that there is a group of younger people who is not just all over listening things but taking on the what is already there and uh, try to put more accent on it because that's our identity that's who we are as deciders and uh, Seeing the younger generation taking from that is very important for us. So the next question, I saw uh, you are not a writer, isn't it? Apart from maybe writing songs, you are not a writer of no, the books. No, uh, no. So what was actually between you and Graham? What was the input when you come together? What do you used to put in the table? Well, my brief as a photographer Voila. was to match Graham's songs with pictures. Okay. And as... Look would have it, Graham has this giant collection of songs from 1949 exactly, and 50. Yes. Yes. So they were already in place. Mm -hmm. My brief was to match those in pictures. Okay. And we got quite a collection of people to help us. True. Uh, ma um, various people to, to help us. Exactly. Yes. So it took the first one, the Banks of the Tees, uh -huh. urban study of this area. All right. Took five years to produce. Okay. Because we were both, Graham and I were both working. Okay. But um, it was, but it, it certainly seemed to work. Mm -hmm. So we, it's kind of like animation, isn't it? Where the yeah. music match with the, yes. the pictures. Yes. And oh, then animate. That's right. Um, yes. Again, I'm, 
I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck in a, a time warp, albeit yes. Yes. this is this is you know I I, uh, I predate the uh, the computer mm. digital yes. effort. Yeah. And my uh, piece was what's known as Magic Lantern Show slideshow. Okay. Which needs a, a dark room, six to eight six screen. To, yeah. And people have to sit and. I can take, remember seeing those. Yeah, yeah take yeah, it all yeah. in. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. It sort of isn't instant instant art or uh, instant whatever on yes, Sally. Yeah. But that works and I was trying to, to push mm -hmm. that genre as much as I can. Right. So I kept it quite simple. I'm involved all the time. Uh -huh. I would worked it out that um, it's it takes sort of twenty seconds for a slide to go on. Mm -hmm. During that time mm -hmm. I'm taking the previous one out and putting another one in. Right. And you slide it across. Exactly. Yes. With it, so I'm involved. Yeah. <laughs> Which, which, which is I good. can imagine. Yes, yeah. I can't just, I can't just set it on automatic and Automat go, go yeah. and have a walk. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, so that's where I'm involved. Very interesting. Whereas you see, it's, someone described it as going to a concert yeah. and listen to to a pianist live. Ah, a pianist live. Yes. There's always that element of surprise or exactly. excitement. True. Whereas if you go on a record, uh -huh. you know that it's word perfect. Uh, exactly. Yes. See what I mean? So uh -huh. I'm. I'm yes. So I like that involvement uh -huh. all the time. Truly, yes. And um, I've, I've kept kept uh, true to that format, which uh -huh. means I have to physic physically take the equipment, exactly, yeah. uh, sort of country wise or whatever. Truly, yes. To show, uh -huh. although the younger generation mm -hmm. straight away ask for the DVD, the DVD version, DVDs versions. <laughs> <laughs> which again, digital, yes, yeah, which via <laughs> via Mima or ho yeah. whoever uh -huh. may come. Uh -huh. But at the moment we're I'm, Still I'm, the I'm locked in this um, this time warp. Yeah, I think with film. Yes, it, that that's very interesting. Yes, is as so. we're talking about uh, archives. Yes, it is. Yes, uh, we don't want to lose the the cream of it, the beauty of it as it was made, because yes. it yes. is it is an heritage. Although no matter how we can think to come with modernity on top of it, but we want to keep it that way. Yes. We want to keep it uh, fresh if I can say fresh the way it was made so that also so we can learn original the, yes ori yes that's yes. the way it's original yes. so we can pick up to what effort you guys you used to go through mm -hmm. so that you can make those kind of things it's not like today where we easy yeah. go on the digital and then everything is done yes I'll finish all the work here in just the, the studio with the digital quickly uh, and it's done in five ten minutes I can already put it online which is different to your time the way you're explaining standing there yes uh, that's right yes you see um, again with my I take them on on film yes it's quite rare uh -huh. But then Graham had the job of doing the soundtrack. Okay. And Graham was brought up on reel to reel tape. All right. Are you with it? <laughs> so 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 mine mm. I like to think that my mm. job was quite simple because yeah. in my hand I've got this two and a quarter square slide. Uh -huh. I can see it, I can handle it. Exactly. So I would put that on a on a light box. Uh, yes. And Graham would say, Right, we want some music or some children playing mm -hmm. and I move move the Soundtrack. The soundtrack 20 seconds that's uh -huh. a minute that's yeah. 20 seconds uh -huh. but graham's ended up with a room full of yes. room full of vital inches of reel-to-reel -reel uh, tape yeah exactly which yeah. had to be spliced on at the correct time are you with it hence uh, hence it took yeah. roughly it took four years for the pictures the pictures yeah. and then a year yeah to match the two are you with very, it? that's very interesting so when you talk about the hard work, the hands-on yeah, exactly yes that's when it was you but see truly, what i mean yes yes, yes. yes. truly 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 uh, i start Figuring out uh, 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 this project in the form again of uh, documentation, yes, I think there must be a way you have to come up to a visual interview where you demonstrate these things. Uh, the studio, maybe where you used to work, must be filmed. You show the tools, just like we're saying now, is audio. Yes, but can it become also visual so that we can see you there explaining everything? Uh, this is the the what we used to use. Look, the use to demonstrate it. Yes. Is that something that we can think about, uh, Robin? Yes, um, that was taken up by Source Magazine, S O U R C E, and that was. Um, a Irish photo photo review magazine, right? And their their um, their job was to produce an article on the actual workings of of this slideshow, the banks of the tea. Yeah. So they in in issue number fifty eight, there is a there is an article which interviews and shows me 
actually working at that at that uh, product of producing the banks of the All right. Uh sound good. Uh let us then uh, cool ourselves a little bit with uh, track number 2 from uh, CD2 Northallington Town. The first signs of winter are beginning to show. The clouds drifting over are heavy with snow. From the hills a cold bitter wind comes moaning down To stir the leaves in the streets of North Allerton Town There by her window young Dorothy stands It's nigh on a week since she heard from her man he's a green howard soldier somewhere half the world around and that's a long way from north allerton town he's out in some forest Deep, dark and green Where lurks many dangers Unheard and unseen Where a stray rifle bullet Can strike to the ground The likes of a soldier From North Allerton Town Well, the hills have turned white now And in drift lies the snow But where is young Dorothy? Where did she go? And who'll tend the grave Somewhere half the world around Of a green Howard soldier from North Allerton Town. Wow. <laughs> that was North Allerton Town. Beautiful. Yes. Let's carry on. Uh, it's just beautiful to have you, uh, Robin. Uh, tell us now, we're moving with things. There is so much you have taken through the years. Uh, there is some few young projects also that are linked to this project that you have taken for almost 49 years. Uh, did you promise to your friend, Graham, that you're going to carry on with this project one day when you used to be together? Oh, yes. We, we, we didn't set a timetable. Right. It was, was, it was ongoing to, as I say, to put this area on the map. And so and that's, a, that's a continuous, enjoyable job. Oh, that's very, very interesting mm. because uh, it's like a commitment made to each other that we should do this uh, through our lifetime so we can keep these things going and for the generation to come. Yes, keep the faith. <laughs> yes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now, all this set, uh, we've got books, uh, Graham Miles Forgotten Songs yes. rem Remembered. Somebody, yes. yes. So is this the songs that have been translated in the CDs that we've got here or is different? Some is these are, are the songs that are in the city? Some are, but there's such a but there's such a collection that uh, there'll be songs there, right, which haven't been recorded. Exactly. For now, mm. like the book that I've got now in front of me, uh, the forgotten songs remembered. This book in uh, in the shops where online where we can buy uh, it and oh this? yes, um, yes on a uh, you know on a on a small scale. It's not in, in not in a big in, scale. It's not in Watersons, but all uh, uh, right. But um, but I'm sure there's a there's a web page of Graham's work. Okay, you know, and that will in turn lead to these leads to these publications. E exactly, and that's that's, that's very good because uh, yeah. as we're talking now, the audience will pick up, and then people will start looking for for the book itself, and then plus the CDs. Uh, what about the CDs? The CDs they are online, yeah. We can get them easily online, or how do you have set up so that mm. they can be, uh, uh, you know, for the others to obtain them too? Yeah. Um, again, I would advise you to to look up Graham Miles. Okay. The, I haven't got a separate uh, okay. menu for that. To see. All right. Um, so if our our listeners that are out yes. there who's listening, yes. if they want to get on the CDs that you have produced through uh, Graham Miles songs, the CDs, they 
they can get it just by getting to the Grey Mile uh, website yes. uh, where all, all stocks are put together. Yes, that's books right. Books and CDs. Yes. And that's very good. So what w did you know the website? So that we can... You've got the website with you. Uh, right. Uh, but at least uh, let's see if uh, we've got it in the book and then we can pass it to the audience and uh, to, to our listeners out there who is listening to the program. Uh, reminding our audience that... Uh, remind, reminding our listeners that you are listening to Radio Africa. IE. And uh, we are fortunate to have uh, Robin Dahl today in the studio uh, where we are talking about the Grand Miles work that they put together through the years. And Robin Dahl, who was the partner in, in this project, still going on with. So nearly to 49 years of the project so that they can keep side area on the map and for the generations to the generations is about heritage we have to make sure that we look for it link ourselves so that we can have all this knowledge produced through 40 49 years nearly of the project and uh, we were thinking about uh, putting also the website uh, for men who would like to to have an idea of how to get the stuff uh, this is uh, the website is uh, website is uh, I'm just going through it so I can see it. It's uh, www.folkleads, leads, L E A D S dot org dot UK. It's easy if you go to www.folkleads, one words, folkleads, F O L K L E A D S dot org dot UK. Uh, it's very easy for us to get the books and the CDs that. Uh, uh, have been produced by uh, by uh, Rob, uh, Robin Dahl and the books of the memories of forgotten songs remembered of Graham Miles. It's a long, long, long project. <laughs> it has taken a lot, isn't it, Robin? It is, yes. It has taken a lot, isn't it? Yeah, but it's when well, it's something you enjoy. Yes. Time, <laughs> time passes. Time passes when very you're quickly. Yes. Uh, enjoying yourself. Yes. Exactly. Yes. It's it's about also the resilience of y what you have put into what you love doing, isn't it? Yeah, it is, Pat, yes. Yeah. So what, what are you going to tell the younger ones out there uh, about the experience of the project, which is part of the experience of life, if they want to, if they want to do things? What are you going to tell our generations, the younger ones? You know, advice. Well, um, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, a jump, that's a big question. Exactly. But um, if you're fortunate to, like I was, to find this, this, this basic archive, yeah. if you're fortunate to find something like that, mm. do your best to explore, to explore it in depth. Mm -hmm. uh, whether that means uh, learning the songs or you know producing your own study of the area, mm -hmm. so I would. Um, that's all I can say. Really, follow your follow your heart and your instinct will tell you that wow, this needs to be um, produced out there for the the wider public. That's true. Uh, that's going to lead us to take us to to play this uh, number three, which is. Uh, no, in fact, number number two from CD two. Goodbye, DRS Clara. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's CD number two. Goodbye, DRS Clara. Where the orchards are, red. and so it's goodbye to the Garden of England. Where the orchards are ready this time of the year, and so it's goodbye to my dearest Clara. There's a lump in my throat that'll be hard to clear. Now I'm rigged out in a garb of a soldier, forced for to follow the colours and the drum. But I'll never stop wishing me two years are over. Each night I'll be dreaming me two years were done. Cold blows the blizzard across the wild Baltic. Snow's on its way and soon will come down. As I lie on my bed, I can hear the wind howling. But my thoughts are away in a small Kentish town. Where my dearest Clara is writing a letter. Page upon page, like she always has done. Though time goes by slowly, she patience, she tells me. The morning will dawn 
when you hand in your gun. And so it's goodbye to the Garden of England, where the orchards are ready this time of the year. And so it's goodbye to my dearest Clara, there's a lump in my throat that'll be hard to clear. Wow, uh, that was uh, goodbye. Dearest Clara, that's very good. Uh, we're still talking about Graham Miles' work that uh, his collaborator for many years, nearly to 49 years, have been carrying out, have been taking with him as maybe that's the way they agreed, which is uh, it's a way also us to learn that things must be done. No matter what's the time and the space, we have to do the right things. So Robin Dahl carried with all this time this beautiful project so that they can keep he can keep the work of his work and gram work on the map for Teesside. For us, the Teesiders, he's an heritage. Now, tell us, Robin, I play some few songs from the CDs, which is sound very, very good, and we've got plenty to play anyway, because this uh, CD number two, we've got, uh, got almost f uh, 13 tracks, and CD number one, we've got 13 tracks also. So we can't play all of them because of the time. Uh, but which one you think we can play next? So that got a, kind of like a future message again. So we can, uh, uh, I'll give you the CD so you can think quickly about it. And then give me uh, which number uh, I can play on CD. Uh, CD one. CD one, yes. Track three. CD1, track three. Waiting for the ferry. Waiting for the ferry. The winds of March all blown away. The April sky shows fair. The fields are shining green again. No more lay white and Hand in hand. With Mary Ann, waiting for the ferry. The flicker of the ironworks fires turns the dark night into cherry. And the teas. The chilly slow black teas laps gentle round the jetty hand in hand with Mary Ann waiting for the ferry. Is embracing you, my Mary Ann. It's fondly that I squeeze you in butter year. I will return with a gift I hope will please you and the teas. The chilly slow black teas laps gentle round the jetty. Hand in hand with Mary Ann waiting for the ferry. Here's a kiss for you, my Mary Ann, a parting kiss, my dear. The bell has rung, Port Clarence sighed, now the ferry car draws near, and the teas. The chilly slow black teas laps gentle round the jetty hand in hand 
with Mary Ann, waiting for the ferry. And so, good night, my Mary Ann. It's now I'm forced to leave you. The weeks will come and the weeks will pass and for sure I'll not deceive you. And the teas, the chilly slow black teas laps gentle round the jetty hand in hand with Mary Ann waiting for the ferry Wow, that was uh, waiting for the ferry. Is that correct? Yes, I love it. <laughs> yes, it's a good um, Yes. That sums up Yes. The side in one song. Oh, the right. ferry in the song is the Transporter Bridge. Right. Transport Bridge, yeah. Hence Which is the, just yes, next to us. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You'll pick the seat on a, on a clear day. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Which is now fortunate. Yeah. But it, see, it mentions the the um, the foundry fires mm. which were always part of the skyline exactly See what I mean? it mentions that and um and yet it's um a, a gentle love song uh based on the transporter bridge which isn't a very romantic <laughs> venue yeah. at, at first light but yeah. graham would like a lot of graham's work uh. he find he finds the he finds the poetry and the romance in the most unlikely uh venues you know oh, right um it's interesting the he mentions the slow black teas. That's yes. S L O E, right? As the, as the berry, slow, yeah. slow black, yeah. slow black teas. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, um, yeah, that that would sum up um, Graham's work in 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 one song. Right. But there's several hundred more like that. Exactly. You're right. <laughs> so it's kind of like even myself. I'm dipping into um, history. Massive things that I'm start imagining. Imagine, imaginating uh, how that time of you and Graham used to be. Uh, it's, uh, it's massive. I can think about it. Uh, the coal mining area of all this yes. seaside yes. history. Um, the life of that time. Yes, even mm. more um, to this area was the iron mining. Yes. In the uh, Rosedale Moors and the Cleveland Hills, right? Because one of the reasons for the growth of industry on Teesside uh-huh. was the finding of rich iron ore deposits, okay, in the area. Yes, and um, that was quite um, that helped build up Middlesbrough into the big town, big c- town that it is. Okay, and um, Graham uh, recorded songs of that mm. period. Mm. And my brief was to match those in what's left of this once busy mining area. Exactly, yes. It seems strange now to see the Rosedale Moors wow. must have looked like something out of concert. Exactly. <laughs> with, with, <laughs> with the smelting, etc., and the trains yeah. hurtling to and fro. But now that's now it's um, it's all overgrown and it's quite softened now. Right. And the, years ago, they even took down the famous Rosedale chimney, which was always a which was always a, a landmark yeah, exactly. of the area. Yeah. But um, as I say, Graham was there to was there to record this once mm. busy industry. Mm. That's that's uh, massive. Uh, that's massive actually for us. Uh, it's just uh, like I said to our audience, uh, you're listening to Radio Africa I, we're fortunate really to have um Robin Dahl so that uh, we can have all this uh part of a big archive that uh, many of us we were not aware of you know through the songs the pictures the matching of life of that time and then uh, matching it reinforcing it until today Robin is still doing it so that we he can keep the map of T T side area uh, alive which is uh, very much appreciate appreciating uh, for the new generations we have to carry on uh, also on their steps make sure that the picture of T side is kept on the map and uh, the newcomers must know about it 
and the world must know about it and kept be on the table uh, now we're gonna go for the next track which is uh, kind of like taking us to the end of our our program which one you want us to play uh, uh, robin that's uh, cd number one well i think uh, c call c call number number five on cd one all right c call c call i think that's number good, five on cd I think one that's a good uh, finishing yeah Seekle. You have been listening to Radio Africa. The man and we have been having it's an important every guest. Morning with our spits in our hands. We're going to the end of our program because there's so much the to dig there. The but I think the little we have had today, so much to come. And Keep on listening to Radio Africa. Aye. Thank you very much, Master Seekle. Robin Dahl. You will Seekle. listen to your music and we'll spread the news. Thank you very much for coming. If we go and buy the bag, we'll out and out lift it all. For we need a bit money to buy bread and meat. So if we must go hungry, then at least we'll have heat. Seek Seek Buy, who'll buy? Hear the man cry. It's just a few shillings for the finest of fuel. Come stoke up your fires now, for the weather is cruel. It's a cold place in winter. Is old Atley Pooh the road if we don't go and buy quick it all will be sold for I can see by his wagon that small is his load so if we must go hungry then we needn't go cold see Have you come up from Romney Way? Have you come up from Romney Way? Who did you meet upon the way? As you came up from Romney Way? Why, I met a young and pleasant girl her hair was fair and hung in curls. Her cheeks were just like cherry bloom. And her eyes were like the skies in June. Mm -hmm. ah, ah. And did this young girl give her name? I met one once who sounds the same 
I met her once, but not again, as I came up from Romney Way. Oh no, she never gave her name, but she may have well have been the same girl that you met upon the lane as you came up from Romney Way. Mm -hmm. Ah. Where are you going, said the eagle to the dove? Where are you going, little bird? I am going on a journey to a far and distant shore. I am going to a battlefield and the war, and the war. I am going to a battlefield and the war. Then you must take a weapon, said the buzzard on the bow. Then you must take a weapon, little bird. You must take with you my talons, they're sharp like steel claws. You must take my talons with you to the war, to the war. You must take my talons with you to the war. And you must take my long beak, said the raven on the rock. You must also take my long beak, little bird. For it's cold and hard like iron, and it's sharper than a sword. You must also take my long beak to the war, to the war. You must also take my long beak to the war. And you must take my rifle, said the soldier on the bridge. You must also take my rifle, little bird. I have bullets in my pouches and can sell you many more. You must also take my rifle to the war, to the war. You must also take my rifle to the war. No, I'll not take your weapons, said the dove to every one. No, I'll not take your weapons, the dove did say. For your rifle's far too heavy, likewise your beak and claws. No, I'll not take your weapons to the war, to the war. No, I'll not take your weapons to the war. I lie, lie. Mm -hmm. Then what will you take, said the heron on the lake. What then will you take, little bird? I will take with me an olive branch, just that and nothing more. I will take an olive branch to the war, to the war. I will take an olive branch to the war. Then be on your way, said the eagle to the dove. Then be on your way, brave little bird. For I heard a clap of thunder, a far and distant roar, and it's time that you were going to the war, to the war. And it's time that you were going to the war. Looks like summer's nigh I saw some swallows over by the dike And look, 
The hills are turning slowly green to green And in the willows a warbler sings And look, the hills are turning slowly green to green And in the willows a warbler sings And in yon gurgling stream There's silvery minnow and speckled trout The water vole sits basking in the sun, the sun on banks all growing over with green. The water vole sits basking in the sun, the sun, on banks all growing over with green. Come, we'll play among the glowing corn. I have a song no nightingale could ever sing. We'll run and dance down Roseberry's high banks, high banks, and build our Eden in a secret day. We'll run and dance down Roseberry's high banks, high banks. And build our Eden in a secret day. Come, we'll lie beneath the August sun And watch the meadow lark rise into the blue And then we'll climb the distant hills So high, so high and hand in hand admire the view. And then we'll climb the distant hills so high, so high, and hand in hand admire the view. Looks like summer's nigh I saw some swallows over by the dike And look, the hills are turning slowly green to green And in the willows a warbler sings And look the hills are turning slowly green to green And in the willows a warbler sings certain. Only music can help you to find the right way. The way you should follow today. This way will take you to the best genres of music from around the world. with the best music i love the music in your face all over the place radio Afrik ie we are online 24 7 you're listening to the best radio station online 
24-7. We are online 24-7. You're listening to the best radio station. Mixing, mixing the beats in the mix with the best DJ. Five, four, three, two, one. We We have have ignitioned. ignitioned. We We have have ignitioned. ignitioned. We We have have ignitioned. ignitioned. You're, you're about, about to, to listen, listen to, to the, the hottest, hottest sounds. sounds. You're, you're about, about to, to listen, listen to the hottest, hottest sounds. sounds. Come on, DJ, hit me with another track. Come on, DJ, hit me with another track. Hit me with another track. You hit me with are another track. Hit me with another Afri- track. Are you are listening to are listening radio Afri- 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 you you are listening to listening to Radio Afrique. You are listening to Radio Afrique. 